But when a believer dies, immediately that soul is made perfect in holiness. Because if it is to go before God, it has to be holy. And we see that in Hebrews 12, verse 23. The souls of believers made perfect, gathering before God. So immediately, when a believer dies, their souls are made perfect and received into the highest heavens, where they behold the face of God in light and glory. When that soul for the first time comes, stands before the throne of God and beholds the glory of God. And it is there, waiting for the full redemption of their bodies, which even in death continue united to Christ and rest in their graves as in their beds till at the last day they be again united to their souls. So that's what happens. The soul goes to the Father. The body remains here and is buried. This is why Christians, we do emphasize burial. Burial is not just getting rid of the body. For Christians, this is the body that is still united to Christ. We honor that. We do it as best as we can to honor that. That's why you see that the scripture again and again talks about burial. It's not just because it's interested to do that. Christianity and Christians should be people who value even a dead body because that body is still united to Christ. And except for very pressing reasons, Cremation should not be a first priority for a Christian. Unless there are very reasons you can go ahead and cremate. But burial, as you see again and again and again in the Bible, is the way that God's people honors that body.